everyone. Before we get started, if you're new to my page, I just want to give you a little bit of information. My name is April, and I am a 45-year-old mother of two boys, one who is 22, one who is six and a half years old, Anthony, who is the star of our show. So today we are going to use the lycra, scre uh, the lycra swing here in our house. I know many of you out there have purchased lycra swings. You can get them online. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Um, because I could not afford to spend $70, $100, $150, $200 on a swing for my child that definitely needed it. We, had, we opted for another option. Um, our option was to go spend twenty dollars at Joann's fabric store and to spend I think a ten dollars at Home Depot for caribou and some chain so as I will show you in the vi in the video you will see how we put everything together um, didn't cost us more than thirty dollars and how we put everything together and how it's worked out so great for our family. So you can see here, so here's the lycra and I'm gonna pan out real quick and show you so you can see what we did. So we have an entry right here and what we did is we screwed in two hooks deep into that. We've got our little chain here and our little caribou hook. We've got the lycra this was $20 and see how it goes into the other one Let's See, now he's gotten bigger he used to be able to just get into that so I'm gonna put him into this and I'm going to swing now generally when we do put him into this I um, I'll put soundscapes on from his the, he's got a soundscape machine in his bedroom and I'll also type into YouTube videos autism and relaxing music I can't play that for you guys now, obviously for copyright reasons. I don't want to infringe on anybody. But um, I put that on and then we start swinging him. So let me get him in the swing and I will show you. Now guys. that you have your child in there, as you see, he's in there. Yes, baby. Okay, lay straight. What I like to do is just lay him sideways. He likes to get, he's kind of heavy now. He's not as small as he was. But you very quietly, in a rhythmic mood, usually with some nice soundscapes music on, it, it calms them. Back and forth. And I do this like eight times, slowly, eight times. And what you want to remember is after you've done that eight times, I like to take a pillow from my couch and put it underneath. So that after you swung eight times side to side, you grab each side of your lycra uh, swing and you bounce up and down. That deep pressure he really likes. And I would do that eight times also if you've got the strength. <laughs> and then when that's done, You open up and you kind of give them a little pressure hug, squeeze on their head, a little joint compressions on their ankles and their knees. You like that? Yeah. And you squeeze them. And then you do it again. I don't, when you're just starting off, I don't recommend going any more than 10 minutes, but make sure after you've been swinging that you do the bouncing that gives them the pressure on the bottom. The up and down helps a lot. And uh, the soundscape music and the quietness in the house, that makes a huge difference. Especially to your child if they're hyper activity, they're like really high strong and hyper, that's always a plus. So I hope this one helped you, and in a little bit I'll show you what we did to, to create a swing 
above our uh, our doorway in our bedroom. Okay, right, guys. This is what we did to do over a bedroom door. And what we did is we took a pull-up bar that we've had. We use it for exercise all the time. And I just took that same hammock swing you saw downstairs. Say hi. Anthony, can you say hi? Anthony, look. Train. Train. <laughs> okay, that says hi. And we just hung it up, just like so, wrap the um, chains right around here till they're sturdy. These bars usually, they, most of them uh, will say that they can hold up to 150 pounds, so he's quite under that range. And this is what we do. We egg drop him in there just like that. And I, I do the same thing that we, we sh I showed you downstairs, basically the swing. Uh, front to back or side to side and then I bounce him up and down and um, I don't know if you can see in the background there but that little box on his dresser is a soundscape machine that plays uh, right now it's got the ocean waves on it and he just loves this he'll come in here and we'll sit and swing and relax and this is how we do it guys I'm back. So, now you've seen two different swinging techniques and I've explained to you how very inexpensive it was for us to do. So now that you've seen those techniques, I hope maybe this might have helped you. I hope maybe if you're one of those families who can't afford to go spend the outrageous amount of money that they have to, to get one of these therapeutic swings for your child, you could do it very inexpensive, expen inexpensively by going to a fabric store, spending 20 bucks on Lycra, and getting your caribou and chains from Home Depot or Lowe's or any other hardware store. So, back to so, a serious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope that with each video, I can give you something creative and new ideas to do at home. Some of these things, a lot of you have already tried, but it's always fun sometimes to see what another parent, how creative or different they they get with their uh, with whatever they're doing at home. So. Um, I'm going to end this vlog today with a thank you for coming to join me. Please hit like and subscribe, guys. Please subscribe. Um, also, I'm going to shout out and uh, have pictures for the next uh, several days. Uh, at the end of each vlog, uh, thanking anybody who purchased an Autism Rock shirt, guys. Thanks a bunch. I hope you had a great day. Before you leave, make sure you...